Inflation became a problem in the United States for a variety of reasons. One reason is that the country began to produce more money than it had in circulation. This led to an increase in prices, which in turn led to more money being printed, creating a vicious cycle. Additionally, the U.S. government began borrowing money from other countries at high interest rates, which put further upward pressure on prices. Another factor that contributed to inflation was the oil crisis of the 1970s. This caused gasoline prices to quadruple overnight, leading to increases in the cost of other goods and services as well. Finally, wages began to lag behind inflation, meaning that people's incomes were not keeping up with the rising cost of living. All of these factors combined to create a serious inflation problem in the United States. The Fed's response, interest rates, and quantitative easing. In response to the Great Recession, the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates to near zero and undertook three rounds of quantitative easing. The first two rounds of quantitative easing were successful in preventing deflation and jumpstarting the economy. However, the third round of quantitative easing was largely ineffective as it coincided with a period of low inflation. The Fed's response to the Great Recession was unprecedented. In addition to lowering interest rates to near zero, the Fed undertook three rounds of quantitative easing. The first two rounds of quantitative easing were successful in preventing deflation and jumpstarting the economy. However, the third round of quantitative easing was largely ineffective as it coincided with a period of low inflation. The Fed's decision to lower interest rates and pursue quantitative easing was largely successful in preventing deflation and jumpstarting the economy. The government's response, stimulus spending. The federal government's response to the Great Recession was largely based on stimulus spending. The goal was to jumpstart the economy by injecting money into it. However, this approach made inflation worse. Inflation is when prices for goods and services rise. This happens when there is more money in circulation than there are goods and services available. When the government prints more money, it causes inflation. The problem with stimulus spending is that it puts more money into circulation without increasing the supply of goods and services. This causes prices to go up, which hurts consumers who can't afford to pay more for things they need. The government's response to the Great Recession made inflation worse because it injected money into the economy without increasing the supply of goods and services. The effect of all this on the U.S. economy. In the United States, inflation has been a problem for many years. The Federal Reserve has been fighting inflation by raising interest rates and keeping a tight money supply. However, these actions have not been successful in stopping inflation. In fact, they may have made it worse. Inflation is when prices of goods and services rise. It happens when there is more money in circulation than there are goods and services to buy. The extra money chasing after limited goods and services bidding up prices. What could have been done differently? Here we come to our conclusion. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Inflation has been a problem in the United States for many years, and it seems that every time the government tries to fix it, they make it worse. One of the main reasons inflation is so difficult to control is because there are so many factors that contribute to it. Another reason is that inflation can be caused by different things in different parts of the country, so what works in one area might not work in another. The best way to combat inflation is by taking a holistic approach and looking at all of the factors that contribute to it. This includes everything from interest rates to wages to the cost of living. By taking all of these things into account, the government can develop a plan that will work for everyone. However, this is not always easy to do and oftentimes the government makes decisions that end up hurting more people than they help. Inflation can also be caused by an increase in the supply of money, as well as by a decrease in demand for money. If people have more cash in their pockets than they need, they are likely to spend it on things that they want. Since the demand for money is decreasing, prices will decrease as well. This can be a good thing if it happens over time, but usually the government will try to prevent people from spending their money by raising interest rates and tax rates. Stagflation is a situation where inflation and unemployment are rising at the same time. 
This was common in the 1970s, when many countries experienced high unemployment rates and high rates of inflation at the same time. Thank you for watching this video.